Hello, I'm Father Jim Bjorn, responsible for the parish community of Our Lady of Hope in St. Clair Shores. As you know, we are committed to working hard to keep you in touch with us while some of you are still in your homes. As we celebrate the commissioning mass of our family of parishes on Sunday, October 23rd at 2 p.m. at St. Pio Parish, located at 13 Mile and Kelly in Roseville, I thought it would be helpful to review some of the events and accomplishments that have led up to Sunday afternoon's celebration. On the weekend of November 6, 7, 2021, it was officially announced by Archbishop Vigneron that I had been named moderator of our family of parishes. That Saturday afternoon, November 6, I had invited parish leaders from the five parishes to come together to discuss what they saw as strengths and challenges as we move towards becoming a family of parishes on July 1, 2022. For two days, February 28th and March 1st, 2022, I attended formation sessions along with the other moderators for Wave 2 to learn about what our role would be in our family. After each presentation, we heard from moderators of Wave 1 families who shared with us some of their experiences. On Sunday, March 13th, St. Isaac Jogues Parish hosted a town hall meeting where members of all five parishes had an opportunity to ask questions and have concerns answered. That was followed up with a session for employees and staffs on Tuesday, March 22nd, hosted at Our Lady of Hope, where members of the Archdiocese of Detroit Central Services answered their questions and concerns. On Tuesday, April 26, the four priests of our family, myself, Father Ron DeHunt, Father David Sobolski, and Father John Winnicky, had our first meeting to discuss the covenant document that would serve as an outline as to how we would work together in solidum, ministering to the faithful of our parishes. We submitted the draft document for approval on August 8. On July 1st, 2022, it was official. We now are a family of parishes. We got off to a great start by celebrating a family mass on Monday, July 4, hosted at Our Lady of Hope. The four priests concelebrated and over 150 people representing the five parishes were in attendance. You could feel the energy. That was followed by another family Mass on Labor Day, hosted by St. Isaac Jones Parish. Our next family Mass on a civil holiday will be on Memorial Day, May 29, 2023, hosted by Holy Innocence St. Barnabas. At the end of July, Dan Bryce was announced as our Interim Mission Support Director. His first task was to complete three reports, business practices, staffing, and facilities of the five parishes. His summary report was presented to us, the priests, on Tuesday, October 18th. Now the work begins. Decisions will have to be made based upon his findings regarding the best way to utilize our staffing, how certain programs might be better coordinated between parishes. I already announced last week that the Religious Education Program of St. Isaac Jogues will be welcomed into the Religious Education Program at Our Lady of Hope and how we could cut costs by making bulk purchases of certain supplies. I believe a lot has been accomplished in the few months that we have officially been a family. Let's celebrate that with our commissioning mass today. A reception will follow in the social hall. Please join your family. Deacon Robert Tremel will, will give a presentation on the Shroud of Turin, considered to be the authentic burial shroud of Jesus, this Thursday, October 20th, at 6.30 p.m. in church. There is no registration nor cost for the presentation. Our music ministries present a fun evening this Saturday night, October 22nd. Join family and friends for a trivia night. Call the Parish Center or contact Susan Taylor for details. As I already mentioned, you are invited to join your family of parishes for the commissioning mass this Sunday, October 23rd at 2 p.m. at St. Pio Parish. On Thursday, October 27th, there will be a reunion of two friends, Blessed Solanus Casey and St. Andre Bassett. Both were porters, that is, they were responsible for welcoming people at the doors of their monasteries. 
there will be veneration of both of them at Solanus Casey Center on Thursday, October 27th from 1 p.m. until Mass, which will be at 4 p.m. Please join the faithful in honoring these two great holy men. Continue to pray for the victims of the virus, their families, and the first responders. We also pray for the people of Ukraine and other torn parts of our world, that peaceful solutions may be found to end the conflicts. I'd like to close with a prayer for the sick, as I do each week, praying especially for those suffering from COVID-19. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you are the everlasting health of those who believe in you. Hear us, Lord, for those who are sick, for whom we ask the aid of your tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, God bless, and we'll chat next week.